Hello, this is Lord Orn. Yes, and welcome to, uh, well, our first video that's not been voted for. As, as I've said, we'll stop in that to some extent anyway. And uh, even though this is not the newest uh, video on Dimash's channel, it is one that a lot of you have asked me to react to, or quite a few of you anyway. So I figured this would be the first video. So this is Ave Maria, New Wave, uh, 2021. So we're just going to jump straight into this and see what I think. Uh, apparently a lot of you really like this, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Let's, uh, let's get straight into it. I like how they do that. They do. I've heard that quite. I've heard that a few times on Dimash's stuff. Where when he approaches Mike, they go it heartbeat. <laughs> so the effect he seems to like. I think they did it in singer, didn't they? Nice sunset. Nice. Wow, they've got a lot of echo on that mic. <laughs> wow. Oh dear. quiet but it's just i know i'm supposed to be, re be reacting to this but it's just there seems to be a lot going on but it's just very calming to listen to um and dimash makes it all look easy anyway obviously singing at this height where he is now there's all well most male singers can't get there and them that could might not find it as easy to do what he is doing um, with Dimash it's effortless but this is this is his kind of comfort zone funnily enough that's how his voice is he's just got his comfort zone is high so um, this is all comfortable to him but yet to most males they wouldn't even be able to touch what he finds as comfortable which is uh, yeah, it's interesting let's carry on I've noticed he likes this kind of thing sometimes doesn't he where he just doesn't actually do any lyrics just like with vocalise you know it was just straight just using his voice without making it without any lyrics playing out. Just, yeah. And here we go. I'm looking forward to it. I like this. I like this kind of thing. I do realise that most of the time with this kind of song, so Dimash is going to be in his soprano range most of the time. And I've got no problem with that because, I don't know, recently, because I've been doing the concert videos and certain other songs, that he hasn't, I haven't really heard much in that area for a while. Not not purely like this, where he, he stays there sustained. So, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I am enjoying listening to it like this again because... There's a certain charm when he's in that area and how he controls himself there. And, uh, yeah. So, I, I really, I really am going to enjoy this. A 
couple of days ago, I was talking to a musician friend of mine. Knows music a, a lot more than I do. Way more. He even does some vocal coaching, so he knows about singing as well. And uh, he's heard of Dimash, and he's heard his songs. And I asked him, I said, what... If you could describe Dimash in one word, what would it be? And all he said is, fearless. And you're like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he really is. He's fearless. <laughs> See, this, I know Dimash likes to play up to the crowd a lot, and he does, he, he likes to act out just about everything. There's no acting here. There's a lot of technique he's using here, a lot of technique, that he is focusing on it. I mean, it looks effortless, but trust me, he's focusing on it. The thing is, though, you can tell, I mean, he has obviously rehearsed this, but Dimash has this way of being so relaxed when he does this kind of thing that you can almost imagine it's just ad lib. That he's just making it up as he goes along. He isn't, obviously. I mean, he has rehearsed this and you know, things like that. But he has that. He's so relaxed and casual about it that you just feel like it's almost like an ad lib that he's just doing as he goes. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a, I've never claimed to be an expert and I'm no vocal coach. I only know music from a past that never developed, but still I did learn enough to understand music and, you know, and know some, some about it. I mean, there's plenty of channels on YouTube that are, that have vocal coaches and they do a great job. They tell you all the techniques and everything and they can explain it all a lot better than I can. And uh, the, a lot of them are really good, but but for me, I always care more about the emotional side. I mean, yeah, when I started this channel, I started doing Dimash on this channel, I kind of focused a bit more on the technical side and started saying the notes and all that kind of thing. But now I tend to focus more on noting, noticing little techniques or, or little things that will elicit emotion and things like that. I, I, I kind of do things where people say to me, I never noticed that. You know, when I get that like, quite a lot in comments. And... That's what I kind of focus on, the little things that make differences that not everybody necessarily mentions. Um, and for this song, I think, what well, I'd rather than stick on the technical, I'd like to just touch on the emotional. Because, as you know, well, them that, that watch me, they know I like emotion over most things. I like, I like emotion in songs. And even though this isn't obviously the well-known version that everybody... Uh, knows when they think of the think of the song Ave Maria. This is obviously a different version of it. But what I will say is this: this one is more emotional than the one that's more popular. But this one suits Dimash a lot better. I mean, the emotion of this, the emotion of this. Well, of course, again, is going for the more, like I say, the vocalized uh, way of approach, which I think. I, I do like it because it lets him play more with the emotion a little bit than being stuck than you would be stuck to lyrics. So he gets to play a little bit more with it. But I find that this one seems to fit him better. Like he's found a really good version here. It's for, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm not surprised. It's Dimash. He obviously knows music. He's found a good version of this that really suits his style, and it really is perfect for him. And for the, for the emotional level he's capable of, which is quite a lot. Dimash really does bring a lot of emotion, and uh, this would have, this suits his emotional level a lot more than um, the more well known version would have done. So yeah, he's done a really good job here to find this, to to bring this version out uh, forward because it's uh, it's really good. It suits his emotion, and uh, you can feel it. There's a lot of emotion in this song, and of course Dimash is just delivering all the time with it because that's what he does. Anyway, let's carry on.
What I do like is that I mean, it's, I'm, I don't know if it was meant to be, but like this, but the instruments are quite uh, quite loud to the point where the choir that's at the back is almost turned into a, an aura. It's, it's like an aura that's there rather than, you know, definite solid voices behind him it's almost like it's blending in with mute with the with the music to a point where it just kind of it's like a, a, a something that drifts is almost drifting in and out it's a nice little effect <laughs> You could see him step into that. You see him step into that. Oh, here. You see how he's, you see how he's, he put, repositioned himself because he needed to be in a new stance, a, a more secure kind of planted stance for what he was about to do. And then he, he just, wrote, just lifted everything up and just, uh, of course, went higher, even higher. So, uh, yeah, I found that interesting that he just kind of quickly switched his stance to plant himself differently, kind of put his body... Because you've got to remember, Dimash's his instrument, his voice, is so finely tuned that just moving his body a little bit will get a different effect or even give him a certain comfort in certain, for certain things. That might have seemed like it was just moving his feet. No, that, that repositioning has set him up, moved his body into a new kind of alignment that's just going to see him through this next section where he just powers it really high and uh, it'll still be just as easy and effortless for him. See, I'm a, I'm a big fan. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Ted Dimash when he's using his power and he's, you know, just filling an or filling whatever venue he's in. He's just filling it from corner to corner with his voice. But sometimes, I just like that gentleness, especially when it's high still, when he keeps that height and just comes in really softly with it. Like you'll see it. The thing is about Dimash that there's this weird thing goes off because there's a part of you that, that isn't surprised he did that, but there's a part of you that knows you should pay respect to it because it's something a lot can't do. But it just gets to the point where you hear it from Dimash so much that it's almost like, yeah, that's Dimash. And it, it's a shame, really, because the the what he does is still so magical that uh, it deserves so much praise. But I think when you've listened to him a lot, the th he'll do something that a lot of singers can't do, and you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, well, I expected that. And it's like, no, you know, you should always kind of praise him for that because it's still, it's still magical. Even if it's something he can do easy, it's still something magical that a lot can't do. So, yeah, that was incredible. I really enjoyed that. A lot of control, a lot of technique, a lot of gentleness, and then power. It was just moving through it. Crescendo, you know, crescendoing a lot there, especially in the end, just building up and down. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, that was, uh, obviously, I don't need to rate all that stuff. You know, you know, that's a ten and, well, more. But anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Like you see, it, it, see, we do get these out quicker this way. If this were vote, we'd you'd still be voting on this for three days. So, anyway. I'm going to go. So if you enjoyed this reaction, then please leave a like. Of course, it helps. And uh, if you are new and you want to subscribe, then please feel free. And you'll know if you click bell. If you click the bell, let me use proper grammar, the bell, not if you click bell. 
I am allowed to use proper words. So if you click the bell, <laughs> then you'll be notified. Well, hopefully you'll be notified because sometimes people aren't, but hopefully you'll be notified when I do more videos like this one. And you know I love your faces and I'll see you next time. So you take care. Bye for now.